Okay, so that's actually insane in a good way. Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. I hope you're all doing awesome and wonderful. So today we're gonna check out the new Control Hub plugin from STL Tones. Is it worth the hype? I think it is. Let's dig right in, here we go. All right, so here we are in Cubase, and as you can see, I have it loaded up. This is STL Tones Control Hub. Now, before I continue, if it's your first time here, hey, my name is Mendel, and uh, if you like these videos, and even if it's, if it's not your first time here, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit the belly thing, and that's much appreciated. So, Control Hub. So basically what this is, is the complete signal chain from a certain mixing engineer or master engineer. And reading from their manual, Control Hub is an all-inclusive mixing plugin platform that allows you to load entire signal chain based expansion packs from your favorite mixers and recording studios. This is not another channel strip plugin, but a complete recreation from input to output on the specific gear used in the original chain. So as you can see over here, so I have this Mark Lewis preset loaded up on my master bus and we have like on the color section, it's console, we have an SSL bus compressor, and this is then not some typical standard plugin thing, but if I'm correct about this, this is exactly modeled to, in this case, Mark Lewis, his SSL bus compressor. And there's a video about that as well. He has something with the converters, like the gold uh, VCA converters, or something like that, or the transformers, the DBX uh, transformers. Very interesting video. Check out the link in the description box below. So I've loaded up Control Hub uh, on my master bus, on my guitar bus, and the drum bus. It's all the Mark Lewis presets. We'll go through a bunch of different presets, also from different packs. And uh, it sounds awesome. So let's first let's do a bit of music, and then I'll dive into the plugins, and we'll do some presets and some cool stuff. So this song is called Harpsichord from my latest album, Equilibrium. Also link in the description box below. Let's take a listen. Now let's take a listen again and I'll turn the plugin off and on, switch a couple times so you can hear the difference. Now hopefully you can hear the difference of that the compression kicks in so nicely. I love, especially on the snare, how it, I don't know, it's the typical cliche word, but how it glues everything together. So let's bypass these and let's see what I did on the drums. This is the plug and bypass. Hearing it like this, to be honest, I think it sounds weak um, without the bus compression. And to be honest, normally I don't use any compression on my drum bus, mostly only on the shells. But here I like it. So what I used, so this is the, again, the Mark Lewis SSL bus comp. Um, these are the settings I used and have the mix up on 50%. And let's see how much gain reduction we have. So it's hitting around six decibels of gain reduction, but to be honest, I have it on 50%, so it's like parallel compression. Sounds fine by me. So just for fun, let's try some different presets. Also, um, I really like when I press appearance on a light, so I'll save that as default. We like how it looks. Let's try some machine presets. So go to drums. Um, let's see, do we have like a drum bus thing here? Parallel compression, drums, crush. Let's just see how it sounds. Okay, so it's really cool. It really brights up the drums. It does crush the drums 
too much lagging for my taste. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play with the drive knob to just to see what happens. Okay, so I did some tweaking and I really like how it sounds now, especially with the mix knob on 50. So this is with the mix knob on 100. So really bright, still crushing, even with the mix knob that low, perhaps it could be just for fun, it's a bit higher. And what I did, I added some like 50 hertz uh, just for the kick. But then by putting this on 50%, perhaps a bit less, does bring the drums forward. So let's bypass it and just see how this is in the mix. Sounds very cool. Sounds very cool. So I'm going to put this back on the Mark Lewis preset and see what it did on the guitars. So this is without it. And this is preset number 13. So it takes out a bit of that wooliness in the guitars. Let's see how it sounds in the mix. Okay, so I do think it could use a tiny bit more upper mids. Now the cool thing about this plugin is it's not just only for like on the master bus or like the guitar bus or like the full drum bus, also for individual channels. So for example, here on the snare, I have a preset number seven loaded up from the Mark Lewis pack. So this is what it sounds without it. And then with it, Very cool, and that's on the individual snare channel. Now, what's also cool about this, there's also like a snare bus preset, which sounds really cool. So 
and this is both the snare sample and the snare without the snare bus uh, control hub on. And when I'm going to turn it on, you'll hear some very nice compression in my opinion. So this is both the snare and the snare sample without control hop on the snare bus. And then with it. Now that might be a bit too much, so I'm going to use the mix knob. Sounds awesome, sounds awesome. Okay, so now let's go to the master bus. And in my personal opinion, I think this is where I'll probably gonna use it the most, especially I love how the compressor sounds. But let's take a listen to the full mix. So this is without it, and when I press this, I'll turn it on. Especially that compression, it glues everything together. I love how it brings a bit more snap to the mix. That's what I love. Um, just for fun, let's try a couple of presets. But just so you know, so this was preset number five. But let's try something different because I know there's one preset that actually made the, the mix sound really, really fat. I think it was preset number 11, master better for everything. Okay, so that's actually insane in a good way. Just check out the difference. So that's that sounds sick. I do think it's a bit too much. So let's play with this uh, this uh, mix, mix knob over here. Okay, let's uh, to finalize it. Let's try a different section. Holy shit, okay, that's sick. I really like that. Hopefully you agree with me, it makes the mix sound big and huge, love that. Okay, the end verdict, what do I think of this plugin? I think this is a very unique and cool concept. And one thing that I really like um, is that you can load up the whole chain and then still tweak it. So it's not like a fixed preset of some sort. This could actually be a huge time saver as well. Because basically you have your pre-EQ, your coloration, your master bus compression, EQ, and your master limiter all in one plugin. So yeah, so make sure you check it out. STL Tones Control Hub, links in the description box below. Again, if you like this video, please subscribe. That's much appreciated. And see you next time. Cheers.